Hey yo! Welcome back to the Dugout and Beyond. So, we've of course got some big trades happened a couple days ago. And we also had a late night trade um, coming into NBA Draft Day, which is today. Um, later on, of course, you have... Um, and, yeah, so of course we had a couple days ago, we had the... Um, Chris, um, we had the Bradley Beal, um, Bradley Beal and the Chris Paul, Chris Paul trade, so having the Suns give Chris Paul to the Wizards, and Beal is going from the Wizards to the Suns, um, this is, of course, a thing that happens right before the draft, the day of the draft, days after, days of, like, it, it, it just, gonna, of course, gonna happen, um, it's actually kind of funny, apparently, Chris Paul's son told him, um, and Chris Paul actually came out and said, hey, it's it's the business, things are going to happen, things are just going to, like, details are going to start going. Once teams have, like, what they like, they'll, um, they'll pull the trigger, and, of course, things will just get out. So, um, yeah, actually, it happens, it happens more than you think with players where they just aren't made aware. They'll actually sometimes make uh, the public aware that they were not aware of the trade until something happens, someone told them, their kid tells them, but uh, some people think that there's going to be a kind of Isaiah Thomas um, return to the league, which if you're not familiar with him, he is, of course he's not been in the league for um, a couple years at this point, which actually is kind of very weird, he, he definitely is, would be a great addition to most teams just because of the way he plays, he's such a team player. Um, but yeah, he killed it for Boston years ago. Unfortunately, his sister um, uh, died during this during that time, and he actually did really, really well during that. It was kind of like he was he, like, you know, people say like, oh, like they were present, they they their their spirit or whatever was in the area, um, helping them, um, basically perform how they performed. Um, but yeah, so that happened, and then we also had a late night deal coming into draft day today. We had uh, Celtics are getting Kristaps Porzingis um, from the Wizards. We have the Celtics are getting also a 2023, so this year's first round, 25th overall pick, and next year's any for, uh, the first round pick that they get um, that the um, Wizards get. That's exactly also what they're going to get. Um, Grizzlies are going to get Marcus Smart from the Celtics, and the Wizards are getting Tyus Jones, Danilo Gallinari, Gallinari and my, Mike Muscala, and a 2023, so again, this year's second overall pick at uh, 35. So, um, of course, you have a number of players. Honestly, most teams do actually pretty well with this trade. Um, Tyus Jones is... Top is a good starter. Um, he could be a six man if you want him to be. Just um, bring him back. Um, but yeah, he's for most part a starter. Marcus Smart, of course, starter. Um, pop if needed, could come off the bench. And Kristaps Porzingis is also another starter. So people, a lot of people are saying that the Celtics definitely won the trade with only giving away Marcus Smart. And then getting Przingis and two picks, one this year and one next year. Um, but hey, this is you know, this could be a huge deal for them. And then Danilo Gallinari, definitely, definitely there. Uh, definitely a good role um, role player to have. Um, but yeah, this is this of course happens every year. Um, days, of course, days before um, the day of the time of the draft. Um, and f crazy, they could, there could be just players just bouncing back and forth, just trying to help other teams not have to bank on getting a rookie and having them hopefully be really good and basically kind of be off the bat, hey, let's go. But they can get players that have been in the league, have had the status of being that like a player that can stay, um, that can deal with the pressure of the NBA and knows how the NBA works, whatever. You get you get a veteran player coming on your team through a trade that uh, could possibly in the end save you money for some teams, some teams not. Um, but it's easier for them to do a trade than bank on having a rookie come in and 
do well or just a complete bust. So uh, this is, it's it happens and it will happen. So watch out for trades all day. Um, and of course, during the draft, teams will be trading up, down, whatever. They'll do all of their crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, the uh, Beal and um, and and Chris Paul trade it's definitely for some people didn't like it. Others they do, and it can be be one way or the other. But hey, have a aging Chris Paul. Um, third on the all-time assist leaders. He's, uh, right now, he's, again, third right now. He's, uh, behind Jason Kidd and John Stockton, which, honestly, right now, he's not catching up to John Stockton. He's four, he's over 4,000 assists away from Stockton. But, um, if he want, if he plays and actually can play, because he did, of course, miss the end of last year with the groin injury in the playoffs, which of course could have been a big help to the the Suns on um, making it to the championship and possibly winning a ring for the first time in his, in his career. But he is right now uh, just over 500 away from passing um, Jason K or tying and passing Jason Kidd. So unless he goes off and is crazy, and also of course Jason Kidd and Stockton are not in the league anymore, so their numbers have not been going up for numbers of years of course Stockton um stopped a lot longer ago than Jason Kidd but um yeah yeah this is um which actually I just re realized that LeBron is not far away from Chris Paul and yeah that well he, he's he's so Chris Paul's 11,501 and LeBron's at 10,420 so of course you have two guys um at top of their game um, at the top level, of course, you have LeBron, who is now the all-time um, points leader. But, yeah, Chris Paul is definitely, unless he wants to get over 500 assists this this year, um, he might not be passing Jason Kidd, so he might be staying third in the, on this list. But, weirdly, LeBron can, I, I feel weirdly LeBron can do some crazy numbers in this. He's not going to get 600 assists, but, um... Yeah, he he's definitely going to be ending high on that on this list here. May he might catch up to Chris, uh, up to his buddy um Chris Paul or he might just fall short behind. But uh yes, yeah, so, uh, thanks for stopping by. Um yeah, look out for more videos, short um short videos and these long videos. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.